Welcome everyone to day 18 of Mental Health Month 2022. This year's theme is Resilience, Communities and Connection. And over the month I'm talking to this theme in this series of Resilience to Recovery. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tammy Horton. I am the CEO and founder of Phoenix Initiative and a little not-for-profit called Come By Here and I'm a mental health educator and mentor. So today we're continuing in the reasoning domain of resilience and we're going to be exploring our beliefs and it's a big topic so it's a slightly longer video today. So what are beliefs? Well in short they're thoughts and assumptions that you hold to be true. They are your view of the world and how you understand it so your bubble of reality. So the thing about our deepest beliefs is that most of them are formed when we're very young so less than five years old. And this means that a lot of our beliefs aren't really as accurate as they could be. Since back then, we saw things through a child's eyes and at a point where we don't really understand what's going on around us. So what's critical here is that these beliefs are what lead to our emotions, thoughts and actions. And if we change our beliefs, we change how we feel think and behave and we can start to design our minds to be more con a more constructive and happier place to be in. So I want you to imagine for a moment a Jenga tower. You know that game where you have wooden blocks and you build a tower of them one on top of the other and then you start to pull the blocks out from the bottom. So the blocks are your beliefs and they've piled up over time since birth. And when you haven't explored your beliefs, what can happen when something might challenge a belief or a block's pulled out from the bottom of the pile, then you can subconsciously become defensive. This is because your impulsive brain can sense that if this belief might be wrong, then all these other things on top of it might be wrong too. And that means all the other blocks can come tumbling down. So your brain resists even wanting to consider it and you might avoid talking about it or you might even become angry at someone who says something that you disagree with and it can be hard to pinpoint why you're getting defensive and later you might just find yourself thinking, hmm, why did I say that or why did I do that? Hmm. However, once you start exploring beliefs, you can then start to make it take shape into something more constructive. So through taking time to explore your beliefs, examining the evidence and how they can be improved, you can start to build an amazingly strong structure in your mind, like the Eiffel Tower instead of a Jenga one. So this opens you up to having a deeper sense of confidence and to become more open to challenge because you already challenged yourself. So you can see yourself becoming more interested in new perspectives, which also enables you to admit when you're wrong and could help explain your actions. So this allows you to be open to change and to always grow as a person. So do you feel that your current way of thinking is giving you a useful and constructive experience of life? There are four steps to exploring beliefs. So the first one requires you to be open because without it, all the other steps won't follow. Once you're open, you can engage your whole brain to consider new ideas and possibilities. Discovering the belief is the second step and this is either made by yourself or through others. So when we consider our core beliefs, there are four major areas. Beliefs about ourselves, such as whether I am or not worthy, successful, competent, likeable, and so on. Beliefs about others, such as people can or can't be trusted, how dangerous people are, how good they are, if you're good for them. Beliefs about the world, such as whether the world is or isn't dangerous, good, the nature of the future. And then beliefs about the meaningfulness of life such as my life, does it have meaning or not? Is it worthwhile or fair? So you can see these are actually really deep beliefs 
and they influence a lot in terms of how we engage with ourselves, with other people and the world in general. And they're the types of things that you would discuss with a therapist. So we're not going to do that here. But, so let's try something a little bit simpler to explore this technique of challenging our beliefs. So here's a question. Do you think jealousy is a useful emotion? What are your thoughts on that? How does a, your belief make you feel? Where do your thoughts come from? How long ago did you form an opinion on this? Do you feel very confident in this belief? Stop the video and write these thoughts down. So the third step about challenging the belief is by introducing new information. So let's try to consider a different perspective, the other side of the coin. So going back to jealousy, how might this belief be wrong? What would it mean if the belief was wrong? Is this belief useful? How does this belief help improve your life? How about these ideas about jealousy? Jealousy tends to erode trust over time since it means you don't trust someone else to remain faithful and they notice that lack of trust. It often results in people hiding things, even innocent interactions, because they know their partner is jealous. It shrinks social networks over time since partners tend to avoid social interaction which might trigger jealous feelings. All this strains relationships over time since it puts a lot more pressure on each other because there's less time spent outside of the relationship. And as a belief, jealousy forms on a core belief of feeling unworthy and also that people can't be trusted. So all of this leads to a more logical conclusion that jealousy is actually not a useful emotion. So given this information, what do you think now about jealousy? So if you found some new perspective through this little investigation to challenge a belief, then we come to step four, which is about accepting the new belief. So basically what this means is if updating the belief is useful, then accept this as a refinement of the old belief. Keep thinking about it, talking about it, and the consequences of this change. This starts to rewire the brain and it eventually changes how you think and how you behave. So as you explore more beliefs, it brings a sense of inner calmness as you align with reality and life and start, it starts to make more sense. So it brings confidence in yourself and your thoughts and your actions, and it creates a sense of personal safety and a willingness to explore life, the world, and other people. So tomorrow we're going to be looking into change, which again is another big topic. After all, change is everywhere. So we're gonna look at how to rethink and embrace change. So until then, remember to always be a phoenix. Bye for now. Hi, me again. Don't forget to check out, oh, to subscribe, sorry, for when new videos come out and then check out ones that I've prepared earlier. Bye.